Welcome to Cup of Teach channel. Hello everyone. Today, I am going to teach you on how to solve quadratic equation by completing the square. Solving quadratic equation by completing the square to make one side of the equation a perfect square trinomial. It is perfect square trinomial if the first term and last term are perfect squares. These are the steps in solving quadratic equation by completing the square. First, if a is not equal to 1, divide both sides of the equation by a. Second, get half of the coefficient of x and square it. Third, add the squares on both sides of the equation. Fourth, write it as square of binomial. And last step, use the square root property to find the solutions or roots. Example, x squared plus 4x equals 0. Rewrite the equation in this way for us to make it perfect square trinomial. Determine the value of b. So what is the value of b? 4, then divide it by 2. What is the quotient? 2, then square it. What is the answer? 4, let us write it on the blanks. Simplify the equation. We will have now x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 4. You can see now that the right side of the equation is perfect square trinomial. Always remember that if the first term and last term of the trinomial are perfect squares, then it is perfect square trinomial. And the factor of it is square of binomial. Get the square root of the first term which is, x, and get the square root of last term, which is 2, then, take the sign of the middle term, and then square it, so we will have the, the square of quantity x plus 2, equals 4, get the square root, of both sides, we will have, the square root of, quantity x plus 2 squared, is equal to the square root of 4, the square root of quantity, x plus 2 squared, is x plus 2, and the square root of 4 is 2, since this is an equation, so we are going to use plus or minus 2. We will have now x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus 2, then transpose 2 to the right side, and it will become negative 2. Therefore, x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 2. Let us separate the equation. First, x is equal to negative 2 plus 2, then, x is equal to 0. Second equation is, x, is equal to negative 2 minus 2, therefore, x is equal to negative 4. What are the roots, or solutions, of the equation? The roots or solutions are, 0 and negative 4. Next is, x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. First, transpose positive 5 to the right side, so it will become negative 5. Then, write the equation in this way. And determine the value of b. So what is the value of b? Negative 6, divide it by 2. What is the quotient? Negative 3, then square it. What is the answer? positive 9, then put it on the blanks, and then, simplify the equation, we will have now, x squared minus 6x plus 9, equals 4. This time, the left side of the equation, is perfect square trinomial, therefore, we can factor it, using the square of binomial. Get the square root of x squared which is x, and the square of 9, is 3, then take the sign of the middle term. So this is minus 3, and then square the binomial. Therefore we will have now, the square of quantity x minus 3, equals 4. Get the square root, of both sides, we will have, the square root, of quantity x minus 3 squared, equals to the square root of 4. The square root of quantity x minus 3 squared, is x minus 3, and the square root of 4 is, plus or minus 2. Transpose 
negative 3 to the right side, it will become positive 3, so x, is equal to 3, plus or minus 2. Separate the two equations, first, x, equals 3 plus 2, then x, is equal to 5. Second, x, is equal to 3 minus 2, then x, is equal to 1. What are the roots or solutions, of the equation? The roots, or solutions are, positive 5 and positive 1. Try this. 2x squared, minus 8x, minus 64 equals 0. First, transpose, negative 64 to the right side, it will become, positive 64. Therefore, we will have 2x squared, minus 8x, equals 64. Since, the value of a, is 2, therefore, we will divide, the terms, by 2. 2x squared divided by 2, is x squared. Negative 8x, divided by 2, is negative 4x. And 64 divided by 2, is 32, and then write the equation in this way. Determine the value of b, so what is the value of b? Negative 4, divided by 2, what is the quotient? Negative 2, then squared it, what is the answer? 4, put it on the blanks, let us simplify, the equation. We will have now, x squared, minus 4x, plus 4 equals 36. You can see now, that the left side, is perfect square trinomial, so factor it, by square of binomial. Get the square root of first term, which is, x, and square root of last term, is 2, and the take the sign, of middle term, so it is minus 2, then square the binomial, we will have, the square of quantity x minus 2, equals 36. Get the square roots of both side. The square root of quantity x minus 2 squared, is x minus 2, and the square root of 36, is plus or minus 6. Transpose now, negative 2 to the right side, it will become positive 2, therefore we will have x is equal to, 2 plus or minus 6. Let us separate the two equations, first, x equals 2 plus 6, then, x, is equal to 8. Second, x is equal to, 2 minus 6, so, x is equal to negative 4. What are the roots, or solutions? The roots, or solutions are, 8, and negative 4. Thank you for watching! That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!